Today, I'm cooking apricot preserves to serve alongside some cheeses. Right now, I'm cutting fresh apricots into wedges, about thirds. A pound of apricots is all this needs. And I'll add three cups of sugar. That is a lot of sugar, but this is a true preserve with pectin that I'll add at the very end. I'm making a refrigerator batch right now, but this is the kind of recipe that you could jar and set on your pantry shelf. I do need to add a little more sweetness, but I want to add different levels of flavor at the same time. So I'll add a cup of honey. The honey adds a beautiful shine to the apricots when it simmers down. Next, three tablespoons of lemon zest. And juice the lemon. It's the combination of the sugar and the lemon juice that sets the pectin. So I have to measure the three tablespoons out. I'll start the preserves cooking over low heat just to melt the sugar gradually and slowly start softening the apricots. I'd like to build another layer of flavor using fresh ginger. Quite a bit of ginger, two tablespoons. And the last element of flavor, a little fresh lavender. What I like to do is actually, I pick my lavender in my garden I hang it upside down until it's dry, and then I pack it in sugar. Within a couple weeks, I have lavender sugar, and I use that in iced tea, or I'll bake it into a lemon pound cake just to add that subtle floral aroma to it. Works with anything that's got lemon in it. You want to make sure you get your lavender from a food source. You don't want to pick the potpourri lavender up. That's been sprayed or treated, and it's not meant for cooking. I'm wrapping the lavender in cheesecloth so it can infuse like a tea bag within the preserve, but then it won't leave any sign of the lavender in there. I'll leave a length of the string, that way I can tie it to the pot, I won't lose it. I'll just let this simmer and then it'll be time for the pectin. It's been about eight minutes and I can see I've got that glossiness in the fruit. So I know the sugar and the honey have penetrated along with the other flavors, but I'm not looking for the apricot pieces to dissolve or melt away. They do have some structure and substance. So the lavender has done its work. And now I shut off the heat and add liquid pectin. So I add it while it's hot, but not simmering. Stir it in completely. And that's it. I've got a lovely batch of fragrant apricot preserves. This batch of preserves is a refrigerator batch. It only makes about six cups. If I were doing a true canning batch of these preserves, I would sterilize the jars and I would probably multiply the batch by two or three times just to make it worth the effort. A cooking class isn't just about eating, it's about presentation too. So I'll wrap each of the jars with a little fabric and tie it with a raffia, and that way it will be an appropriate gift. Well, now that I've got things underway, I'm gonna pop in on Nicolette's kitchen garden. 